Okay, this is a tutorial about how to make a low poly tree really quickly. Uh, so we've got our cube here. Um, if we go to edit mode uh, by pressing tab and then press uh, A a couple of times, I select all my vertices. So I can press Alt M to merge my vertices and at center. So I've got one vertice right in the center there and it looks a little bit silly. But what I can do is I can make my tree outline. So by pressing E to extrude, I can pull it up. Keep rotating round because uh, then you'll end up with some interesting shape. Uh, so keep moving around and just press E to extrude, pull them out like this. If you're happy with a branch, you can actually select a load of them. Shift D to duplicate and then maybe rotate them around the Z axis, RZ on your keyboard. And then you can get a couple of points by shift clicking them and press Alt M to merge the vertices, there we go. And then the next bit is to go to the modifier stack under the spanner, click on the skin modifier and you can see there's a rough outline there. If I press Z to go into wireframe, then I can make this look a bit better. Uh, C on my keyboard will be circle select tool and I can select all these and I need to make the points a bit smaller because it looks a bit weird at the moment. So press Control A to scale them down and then move your mouse button left to right and it scales them down. We'll go to solid mode now, that's fine. Uh, what would be a good idea as well to put on the modifier is a subdivision surface. Now you're probably saying, well it's not really low poly anymore if I do that. Um, but there is a reason for this. If you want to add a point in the middle of two points, you just press W and subdivide, and then you've got a point in the middle. Let's say you're not happy with that branch. Okay, the next stage I think is quite a nice stage. Uh, so let's go back into solid mode, go back to object mode. There we go. Uh, press apply for the skin modifier and apply for the subdivision surface modifier. Okay, if we go up to the decimate tool, we get this lovely sort of random triangular effect because it triangulates the mesh and decimate it. So there we go, it's a bit more sort of cool low poly style now. And as you can see, a bit better. Okay, I'm not particularly happy with this shape actually. I'm gonna edit this really slightly because I'm not um, sure it's that great. Once you've applied your modifier, that's called destructive editing. Uh, so in a sense, you're stuck with it. But I just pressed undo a couple of times and I'm gonna move some of these around. What you do have to be a little bit careful of is if you get any distortions. So there, can you see a distortion appearing uh, on my branch to the left there? Watch out for those, just uh, resize different parts until you haven't got those anymore. Okay, and then when you're happy, apply your modifiers, but make sure you're in object mode apply the skin first and then the subdivision and then you can go in and decimate again. Once you've done that you can go in and start creating your icospheres. Icospheres look a bit nicer than um, the UV spheres and I like to go into sculpt mode and start pulling them around. You can use the grab tool and pull them. And... Okay then when you're happy I like to decimate these as well. Just gives them a bit of randomness. Uh, you can be lazy at this point and just duplicate that. Lastly, adding a bit of colour. Go up to my colours, press new, and let's put in some, I don't know, autumn colours. If you want to know how to set up for painting, you can click on the video link here. Or if you want to just see me do a time lapse of the paint, so see how I would create a little scene out of this, then click on this link here.